Hi everyone. How is everybody? Let me just find my live on the um, computer. I'm on late today. But peace and quiet, kids are in bed, husband's in bed. Right, come on, where's this video? International Coffee Day. So I've made a little sample card. And I've had too much coffees today. Hi, Steph. So don't tell anyone I'm drinking tea. <laughs> so celebrating the International um, Coffee Day today with my brand new Press On stamp set. So I've made up a little card here, a little sample card. So we're going to make some more of these, but in the other in colours. So I've decorated a little envelope as well, like so. Exciting! Yay! Right, let's say um, get my um, video up. Hope everybody's well. If you on YouTube, I need to mute my sound, that's fine. I don't want to listen to my voice echoing. See hi if you're here. So right now it is quarter past nine in the evening in Scotland, the UK. And I have my lovely team friend Steph here. Oh, hi, Anne. You're here as well. Absolutely awesome. Right, so I'm going to make the cards in all the coordinating and colours. Okay, so I've got all the bits prepped. Um, this is our lovely little layout. Sorry, my face is all broken out. I'm a bit run down just now. Um, but never mind. Ta da! How exciting. Yeah, I've not done a live at this time in absolutely ages. So, let me um, flip you around. Um, I do apologise if you um, get a little bit wobbly. Let's pop that in the holder and um, give me a second till I weigh that down. See that it's nice and straight. What I'm having to do is um, hold down my phone stand with, um, weigh it down with some punches because I don't have a shelf now. Um, I've just got these sat on the top of boxes. So, right, let's um, move these out the way. Get rid of that glare. Move the mouse. Hi Janice, how are you? Hope you're well. Yay, I'm all organised. Right, so we're making this card in different colours. We might change it up a little bit. And we have coordinating um, envelopes. So I've just used the excess piece of the off of the 6x6 designer to use paper. Okay, now this set does coordinate well with the Nothing's Better Than bundle. And... Um, I'd actually thought about incorporating some of these um, little cookies and little uh, latte cups in my project today, but then I decided to use um, the original stamp set and images, so I changed my mind. However, you could um, utilise these together, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and a cookie. So, right, now I have... This uh, beautiful stamped is uh, stamp out with five images. I have the a cup of thanks sentiment as well. There's lots of other pretty sentiments, such as press on. We've got coffee as you saw in the envelope there. That's really pretty. And what else do we have? We have hope your day is full of perks. All you need is confidence and lots of um, coffee. And then this one here's nice. Coffee is always a good idea. So I, I love how they've incorporated the text into the um, steam from the cuppa there. So that looks quite nice. So I'll put that out of the way just now. Hope everybody's well. I just decided um, before dinner time there that I would come on. So yes. Now what I've done for each of the 
cards that I'm using, I have used the in colours, but I've then chosen a lighter tone in the same kind of colour family. So this is just jade, um, and what I've coloured them with is the soft sea foam, the light and dark um, stamping blends, just to get a lovely contrast. Um, and yeah, they look um, quite good. So, um, so for the Just Jade, we've got the Soft Sea Foam, the Cinnamon Cider that you saw there, um, it was Crumb Cake Light and Dark that I used. Um, for the Misty Moonlight card, we are using Light and Dark um, Bami Blue, so that complements each other really nicely. The um, Bumblebee Colour Scheme, we are incorporating, uh, incorporating um, Light and Dark Daffodil Delight. Put my teeth back in, couldn't get that out there. Um, and then Magenta Madness, I am using the Flirty Flamingo. Now, these ones have coloured quite bold, but I'm sure they'll be fine once they're actually on the card. So I could pop all those away, keep the green just jade out just now. I'm just going to move all my markers out the way. Right, now I I don't know if anybody eats tin tam, but I love Prince's tin tam and um, I washed this off. So this is going to be my little desk buddy for scraps of paper. I do have a stamp and a pop-up bin, um, but this is handy for me just crafting by myself. So I'm going to actually decorate this at some point. It's not sharp, which I like. Um, and then I'm going to use the alphabet dies and um, put scraps on here. So I'll do that in a little video sometime soon. Right, anyway. Oh, dog hair fluffing about there. Right, let's get started. So what I'll do is I shall do the envelope first. Now the envelopes are slightly bigger than six by six, okay? So there will be a little gap at each side, but um, only we will notice that. Your average Joe will not notice that it doesn't go to the um, edges, so don't worry about that. Okay, so we just need to pop that in. Kind of centre it as best we can. Ta-da! And it just um, coordinates well with the card that we're going to make. Right, so I will do all the inking at the one time. Right, so like I said, just jade base. Is everybody able to... I can't see much comments, but that's fine if you guys are watching. It's just I'm aware my husband's watching um, the Rangers game just now. And it uses Wi-Fi, so if it lags or anything, please just do let me know. Okay, so... Card base sizes are four and one eighth of an inch by five and seven eighths. The matte layer is Whisper White, and so is the card insert. And these are five and a five eighths by four inches. Yep, it's getting late for counting, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear, I use the same sizes all the time. I should, I should, um, I shouldn't have to figure it out. Okay, so this is beautiful designer series paper packs for all of our colour families. I've got sticky fingers already. So this is a good way to use up your paper packs. I know we all like to leave them sitting looking pretty on our shelves or in our storage, but they're there to be used. So I am making a conscious effort to use more of these DSPs. Hang on a second, because my... Um, Hands aren't working very good tonight for some reason. There we go. That will do. Okay, so this is three, three and she, three and seven eighths of an inch by five and three quarters. Now I have a little matte layer. Um, Steph said I've got one eye on you and one eye on the footy two. Hot oh, place. Is it Man United that's playing, Steph? This is three and seven eighths uh, width, the same as this DSP layer by two inches. Okay, so we're just going to pop that on. All these cards will be the, the, the same kind of design, but they are really pretty. Okay, 
So what we want to do now is we have this scrap piece that came off the end there. Okay, now let me see. This piece and this piece were together. So what I've done is I just trimmed off um, half an inch and the remainder I used on the envelope. So this half an inch piece we're going to stick in here. So the length's five and five eighths of an inch. So I just had to trim that a little bit from the six inches that it was. Tottenham Hotspurs playing. Oh, qualifying match for the Europa League. How exciting. How exciting. Well, I hope they do well, honey. I hope they do well. Okay. Now. This is a little excess piece that you could use and just add it on the bottom or something like that. We shall see. But I don't like throwing these wee bits away, so um, I might use it, I might not. Right. What time is it? 25 past nine. Right, so I'm just loading that up with some ink. I'm just going to bring it closer to me a second till I... Try and stamp it straight, guys. Slightly squint. See, it is getting late. Let me try that again. Maybe I should have my, my um, spectacles on. <laughs> what am I like? Right, let's get the Simply Shammy out. So that's that washed, ready for the next project. So all we need to do now is the beautiful little sentiment. Now, I think I may have inked that too much. If you've got a really juicy pad, look at that. Look at the different, look at the different levels of um, colour. I really do like that. Okay, so gentle, gentle. Bringing it towards me just so I can try and stamp straight. There we go. Beautiful. Clean that off. Steph seen winning... 5-2 so far in 20 minutes, 25 minutes to learn full time. That's not bad. That's not bad, Steph. I'm just going to grab a little drink of my tea, guys. But it's sticking to my um, mat. Oh, it's a good cup of tea. Right, so. What we want to do here is glue this on to our mat layer. And it's just an eighth of an inch shorter in height, so it is three and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. Here we go. Make sure you get it nice and straight. Is that straight? Yes, that's straight. Grand. And we're going to build up these little cups. So there's lots that you can do with this. You can see I've used the centre. Uh, in the centre here I've used a heart, in here I've used the coffee beans just to kind of mix it up a little bit and let you see exactly how gorgeous this is so there are those two images there um, you could um, ink up just the word coffee and pop that inside one of the um, cup centres as well if you like um, or just do thanks you could do anything you like the key is to just play, play, play. Now, this card, I think I want to use these larger portable cups. My previous card, I actually stacked these two up like so. But I'm going to change this one. I want to use both these cups just like that. And I think that balances out pretty cool. Okay, so all I want is a couple dimensions, not in the bottom corner where it's overlapping our sentiment section. Okay, so that corner's fine. That corner. And that corner. And do you know why I feel nice and creative today? Because I cleaned my desk, my craft desks, and uh, made them absolutely spotless, so I had no reason um, not to, not to craft. Right, I'm just bringing in my little rubbish bucket. And it's going to catch all these dimensional backings so they'll not go all, all over the floor. Okay, and we're just going to put that there. Wonderful. Isn't that gorgeous? I like it, I like it. 
Right, let's put one on the inside. I think I'll put the little, I'll put the coffee bean one inside. All I'm going to do is just stick that on with wet glue. For my other card, I did cut out this, um, the inside of the cup handle, but I'm not going to bother with these ones because it was a bit iffy the way I cut it. Let me show you. Uh, and it looked a bit scraggly, so you probably didn't notice that till I pointed it out, mind you. Okay, so that's going in there. So I want to put a little sentiment on the inside, so let's see what we have. I think I'll do, all you need is confidence and lots of coffee. In fact, no, I'll do Hope Your Day is Full of Perks. Yes. You could also, if you want, you could add that up there as well. But obviously without the strip, that would look really nice. I like that swirly stamp. Right, so let's get a block. I forgot I had to... Um, Add a sentiment on the inside. So what I'm just going to pop it along the bottom like so. It gives you more room to write in the middle there. And I just think it looks nice against that little image. Hi Elaine, how are you? Lovely to see you here, my lovely. Okay, so we've popped the excess piece of DSP inside here. Now it does shine through, uh, I have noticed these um, Whisper White envelopes are thinner, um, this last batch that I've got, I don't know why, let me get my other packet. Oh, I have not even opened this one. Sorry about the wobble. These definitely feel um, thinner. Maybe they're not. Oh well, no, they're not. They're the same. Hmm, it must just be me. <laughs> oh dear, I don't often use these a lot in my own projects because um, I just use um, cheaper envelopes just to save a little bit of money. Right, now I've got green ink somewhere. I don't know where it's came from. You can see it there. Right, so... What I want to do, I am just going to stick, should I stick that little coffee cup up here? I think I will. I'm going to stick that on the inside flap. Just like so. Hi Jason! Hello my lovely. Hope you're okay, nice to catch you. I'm not normally on at, um, in the evening. Uh, evening time UK but I might try and do this more often so that I can um, speak to a wider range of people that are up at this time. That's amazing. So that's a little card. I want to put something on the front. I think what I'll do is I'm going to actually stamp um, the word coffee just here. Now it will cover when this is sealed but the gum will not be on it. So when it's open they will still see this the stamp, okay? So just need to be ever so gentle because my ink pad's really juicy. Jason's okay, he's just got out of work, exhausted, moving again soon. I know, I know. You haven't half given yourselves um, hard work a second move this year but it will be all worth it hun i'm sure it will be all worth it and this time in a few months time well a few months time you'll be you'll be thinking what was all that fuss about look at my big beautiful craft room i've got now <laughs> right okay so that is our second card so that's the just jade i will show you all the Look, there's the cinnamon cider one. I'll go over them all again once I'm finished. Right, let's do this really bright pink. So for those that have just popped on, I was just explaining that I am using the the new in colours. However, for the shading of the images, um, 
What's jealousy and I have you in one device and Ruth in another? Oh, bless. That's the only thing. There's a few people on at night time, isn't there? I should have maybe checked that, but it's fine. Plenty to go around, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I've actually coloured the images with a lighter shade of the same colour family. So with the Magenta Madness, I have uh, used Flirty Flamingo. The Just Jade I used um, Soft Sea Foam. Bumblebee I'm using Daffodil Delight colour. The uh, Misty Moonlight I'm using Pool Party or Bam Bammy Blue, sorry. And the Cinnamon Cider I used Crumb Cake. Light and Dark Blends. Da, 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 da. Steph's team's just scored a goal. Brilliant. The only downside to doing lives, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this, particularly you, Janice, um, is it takes so long to upload because you're recording it on your phone. Right, this one I'm going to pop nearer the bottom. Like so. But I still want to see a strip of that. DSP here, okay, so that's that one on, I'm going to stick this on the inside, glue, 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 glue. like so, I love how you're multitasking, Janice, my lovely, <laughs> right, these are the elements I have, two of the smaller cups and two of the takeaway coffee cups, Okay, so let's stamp. Now I am stamping in uh, the Magenta Madness, so I need to try not get this all over my fingers. The brightest colours that stain the worst will always seem to get absolutely covered in those colours for some reason, don't we? Right, I'm just going to pull this towards me so I can try and stamp relatively straight. How cute is that? Love it. You could go on to colour each of these little cups, um, but for today we're just keeping it. I think it's nice enough the way it is, keeping it nice and simple. Right, so sentiment. I am going to... I'm going to see if there's another sentiment I can use, actually. Mm, I think I'll use the coffee one. I'll use the coffee stamp. Coffee word, sorry. So just do that. Ta -da! And then on this side, I can put a, um, another sentiment. So, right, so let's get this stuck on. Move that slightly. Right, I'll apologise for now if you can hear my um, clock ticking in the background. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Right, do you want to try and build these up? Maybe I'll just do... I think I'll do the coffee granules one there, coffee beans, and then this one. In fact, let's split them up. Yeah, let's split them up. These smaller cups stack better. Um. As you can see here, it's quite cute. Quite cute. Let's see how that looks actually. <laughs> no, I prefer the bigger cups for this one. Just depends on what catches your eye with the colours. Okay. One, two, and three. good having a little um, bin beside you so that you, um, you're not flicking those backings from the dimensions all over your floor or, or all over your desk and then it's a nightmare trying to find them all. Magenta man Madness just makes you want to smell it's such a happy colour it is. I love it. I absolutely love it. I really like pink. I really like um, the yellows as well. 
I particularly like Mr. Jello, you know, for like clothes and household items and things. Um, and I bought myself this um, bright mustard top that said sweet as honey bee or something on it. And it had a nice um, stitch bee on it. But I got the next size up and it's like a, a nightgown on me. So I wear it as pyjamas now. <laughs> and um, mustard does not do you any favours if you are, um, if you have any inclination about your um, tummy or anything. Because I've put on that much weight recently. It just is not flattering at all. Not at all. Yuck. So yeah, I wear it to bed now. <laughs> right, so, oh yeah, we're going to stand from the inside, weren't we? Da, 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 da. This one I am going to do. All you need is confidence and lots of coffee. Okay, I'm just going to pop it down there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a nice, nice font. Lovely. I hope everybody's had a nice day. Right, I'm going to pop this one here. I finished work, I was supposed to finish work at um, 12 o'clock today, but I got caught up, so I think it's about 10 to 1 that I finished, so I could go up and see my mum and dad, so I gave their kitchen and bathroom a, a good clean, just to help out, so they were fair chuffed. Right, so, what's next? You need to stick the excess piece of... Um, designer series paper on the inside of the envelopes. There is a um, die set, I can't remember the name of it, that actually cuts um, cuts your paper to the same shape as the envelope flap. So if you're batch making these it would be good to invest in something like that for sure. Right, I just can't remember the name. Let's see where's this line. bit of glue on there so it just adds a little extra bit of prettiness to the envelope right I think I am going to should I stick this on the front I don't think I will because I'm going to plan to send these out so um, I think the post office wouldn't be very happy with when we're sticking bits of cardboard on the, the front of front of my envelopes So I've got everybody's kits um, from the face to face the ladies and some new beginner crafters. The free card kit is sent out today um, to encourage them to come along on Saturday to my live coffee and card and um, we can craft together. It's a great way to introduce people to stamping up. <clears throat> so Right, so that is the magenta madness. Very pretty. Do like that. Lovely jovely. Now we're going on to the misty moonlight. And um, can you see how lovely the Bammy Blue is? And I don't know if you noticed, but I've kind of alternated the dark shade in the middle and then the dark shade top bottom on both of these just to kind of mix it up a little bit. So Again, let's let's build this envelope first and we'll get that out of the way. I'll just get this bit stuck in. So I've got a really busy day at work tomorrow. Sorry, working from my home computer, my home office tomorrow. You bag them. I like a Friday though. I like to try and, um, what do we call it? <clears throat> I'm going to pop a bit of this in here as well and just set a cup on top of it. Um, I like a Friday because you, I like to clear my my um, pile of work and start the weekend on a clear footing, shall we say. I'm pop that there and I'll come back to that and stick a little cup on it. Right, so let's build this. Steph, thank you, Han. Envelope dies, page 77 of the mini catalogue. Thank you, honey. I'm saying, don't know what they're called. 
of course they're called envelope dice. <laughs> we couldn't be more obvious, eh? <laughs> why would you? Why would I think there was a more complicated name? Oh, such a spud. Anyway, at least I'll not forget again. Thanks for that, honey. You're a darling. You're a diamond. Right, so pop the DSP on. It's so, so dark. In the mornings, it's so, so dark going to bed. Normally, I would be in my bed by now, probably ready for sleeping. We normally go to bed at 9 o'clock, but... Um, I want you to stay up and craft. And I do enjoy the peace and quiet when everybody else is in bed. Okay, so there's the card front. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should do a horizontal card this time. Shall we do that? I think we shall. Okay, so let's just stick this on. Like so. Just need to make sure that goes on straight. Does anybody else's eyes go wonky when it's dark o'clock? Right, so remember I was saying about the little bits. This would have been perfect to stick that in there. <laughs> but instead I shall cut down this bit. Now I'm just going to mark it with a pencil quickly. And then just snip it with my snips. Super. So on the 31st of October, I do not have a live coffee and cards because I have my, um, I'm doing a virtual retreat for my, uh, for my team of demonstrators, um, 10 till 2 on Halloween, so I'm looking forward to that, really looking forward to that. Right, let's, um, let's close this pink first, finished with that, where's the blue? Because I want to show you how lovely the um, the cup stamps. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use the sentiment. Coffee is always a good idea. And we are going to use the little cup. Like so. And then we can maybe colour it together. Because I still have all the stuff out. So, Right, so. Do, 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 do. Now I want to get it. Relatively centre. Okay, so I'm just popping that on there. Clean and replace the stamps as you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I need to bring this towards me a little bit to see me standing up. Now that cup is squint, so I'm going to flip it actually. Right, so I've stamped the sentiment. Let me give you a close up. Now, um, if I realised how fidget I would be at this time of night, I would have used my stamparatus to get a better um, straight image. Right, so, that's better. Still looks like the squint, but you know what's fine. <laughs> oh dear. We've got a wonky coffee. A wonky, wonky coffee. La, da, da. Hopefully no one will notice. Do, 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 do. Right, let's get this on here. My tummy's rumbling, I don't know why, I've not long had a, a late um, dinner. Right, let's get the, the balmy blue out. So I want to do dark balmy blue on the top and on the handle and on the bottom part now these could obviously be coloured to look like the um, actually have um, beverage in them but for today we're just doing it so that it coordinates with the blue theme. So I'm just going over the right hand side a little bit more to give it a little shadowy type effect and then we're going to stamp going to stamp a little heart 
on the first card I had stamped the heart first um, and then tried to colour around it so I decided I'll stamp afterwards make it a little bit easier Steph's saying um, unless the other team has a sudden power surge the next two minutes and score another five goals we've qualified well done that is brilliant hun absolutely brilliant now this card is nice and simple as it is like so you could put any some other sentiments in there but I think that's quite nice the way it is and we are just going to splodge let me see can we put these in a tower Do, 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 do. Yep, I think I'll do that. Now I am going to just stick them down flush. So much you can do with these. So much. It's so quiet in here, I could almost hear a, um, an echo <laughs> of my own voice. Right, let's just pile that there. Because it's overlapping, I'm just holding it down for a little second. Lovely. Isn't that pretty? Coffee is always a good idea. Let's put a sentiment in. Hope your day is full of perks. And <clears throat> I'm actually going to stamp this in the bottom right hand corner. Sorry if you can see my head. Beautiful. Lovely Jeffly. Okay. And I think I will what should I try and do this one? No, that's too much treasure. Too much. Okay, okay. I think that's nice. Let's add teeny in fact let's use in the nib section of the light bammy blue. Just give it a little bit of colour on the inside. It's been really fun playing with this. And when you use the same kind of colour scheme, it takes the, the hard work out of thinking what colours to use together. Because we often find that could almost put us off crafting if our brain's not in the right creative uh, place. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that lovely? Now you can imagine using this to make up some teacher gifts or gifts for your girlfriends with a coffee, Costa Coffee voucher in it. One of my colleagues at my day job absolutely loves coffee like I do. So I make this brilliant. We take it in turns to buy each other a latte on a Friday and it's called Latte Friday. And then for some reason it started turning into McDonald's Fat Friday as well. But we've not had that since um, lockdown began. Right, there is our Misty Moonlight one. So. Na -na 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 -na. Just trying to see if we could use that somewhere. Nope. Nope, that's fine. I'll just pop that away. <laughs> All right. What do I want to pop in here? I don't want... I think I'll put a little sentiment on the inside of the envelope. I don't want an, a coffee cup. Right, so I'm just going to boop, pop that down. Steph said she needs to get this stamp set out. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah! Bash on, honey. Bash on, my lovely. That's a really nice font. It's not in the centre of the envelope. I need to stop, um... Oh, what's the word? I'm going to stick that on there. I need to stop, um, pointing out my flaws. Right, this cup, I'm going to stick down. This will be a hand-delivered one. And the reason I'm sticking these on the back is because the ink has actually come through the um, 
Hi Sam. The ink has actually come through the envelope slightly. These are cute. How beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. I know I'm going overkill probably with the um, sentiments, but I just think the fonts are gorgeous. My husband was complaining earlier because um, I've got the heating on and he says it's boiling in here and I don't think it is. But I've only been sat here for what? Oh god, nearly an hour mind you. And um, the corners of my chamois have dried up. So it must be warm. <laughs> right, we have one more card to make folks. Let me pop this one to the side. And then I'll show you the whole, show you them all at the end. So the last colour is Bumblebee. So we have Daffodil Delight that I coloured the beautiful little images in with. Look at those. Aren't they adorable? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Janice has seen fab cards. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You're so kind. So kind, so kind. Right, so Bumblebee in colour. All these measurements um, that are stated for the first card, they're all the same for the other four. Eighth of an inch um, increments in the layer sizes. If you wanted more of a pop of colour, um, I would suggest doing um, a quarter of an inch increment to make it pop even more. It just depends on what you prefer personally. Right, let's get this insert inside. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's hope that the um, the weather forecast to, for tomorrow is a bit drier than it's been today. Um, I've got a washing that I need to hang out and get dried. Let me move that ink for the glare. Right, let's pop this in the inside. Put this one up a little bit higher. Lovely. Right, let's decide what we're going to do with this. Now, you can see how it blends in quite a lot with the background. But once you add the little white layer, it kind of breaks it up a little bit. Okay, let's get the layer on. I'm going to go with two stacking small cups, like the first card that I've done. And we're going to use the excess larger cups on the inside. Right, fab. Now, let's get the ink open. Steph's saying, um, having a storm tomorrow, high winds and rain, it's heading for France, but clipping the bottom middle half. Oh my goodness. That's no good. Once it starts um, becoming autumn in Scotland, um, we're pretty much over the good weather, for sure. <laughs> Hey Janice, you, you understand. Once it starts raining, that's it. Dark nights come in, it's just miserable all the time. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Right, so. I'm going to do a cup of thanks for the sentiment for this one. And then I'm going to do something with this coffee sentiment. I'll show you in a minute. Right, let me bring this to me so I can stamp relatively straight. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I do like that, I do like that. Right, finished with this, let's pop it back in. So glad I came on tonight. I have been absolutely dying to um, sit and just have a play. Okay, right, that's the stamp that's done there. What I want to do on the inside, I want to pop coffee, coffee, coffee on the inside. I think three will fit. So what I'm going to do is gauge the middle 
stamp to the right, stamp to the left. I think there's a little beastie, a little summer fruit fly or whatever you call them buzzing about. But that's the only thing to go for these LED lights. Isn't that a nice effect on the inside? That would look nice stamped on maybe a wisp of white ribbon. You know, if you're putting ribbon across here, or if you were tying the ribbon around a gift card, that would be even awesomer. Awesomer isn't a word, I know, but I just like to make words up. Words I don't know, I just make them up anyway. <laughs> right, so. Did I put my finger in ink there? No, I didn't. Even that on its own is gorgeous. I do like this, though. Right, so, did I see I was using the smaller cups, didn't I? Yep. Greedies, you're right, Janice. Greedies, indeed. It was really, really grey and dull outside earlier. I was like, mm, maybe we're getting some storm. It's like the clouds get lower and you can see the moonlight above them. It's, it's just odd. It's strange. Right. A couple of little dimensions. Let me put them in my little scrappy bucket. Oops. So I want this just slightly over to the right centre. Then this one goes on here, slightly to the left, and that kind of straightens up in the middle. Grand. Um, so I need dimension up here. And... Janice, did you make any other um, cards? Well done, honey, doing your cards for charity. Every year, Janice, without fail, um, does hundreds of cards handmade for the Ronald McDonald um, Hospice Charity, isn't it, Janice? Um, she does an amazing job, and I was lucky enough last year to come through to Janice's and Falkirk and craft with you and your team. Um, that was really good. It's just a shame this year um, we're unable to do that. But there's always next year. Right, because this is so yellowy, I am going to add some dark um, daffodil delight just to the love heart. I just, oh, I think this is gorgeous. I don't know if it's just because they're coffee cups, but I really, really think those images are pretty. Really pretty. Right, so for in here, we're just going to make it really fancy. Mm, maybe not, actually. Put that one there and that one there. Do you think that's overkill, guys? I'm getting stuck now on the last card. What do you think? Maybe overkill on the inside. I just don't want to waste these because I know if I pop them away, I'll end up um, not using them because <laughs> I'll have moved on to my other new stamp set. All right, I'll just do the envelope quickly while you lovelies help me decide. What you could actually do is stamp on here as well before you stick it in the envelope. That would be quite pretty. Oh, this bit's a lot shorter. Let me lift and manoeuvre that over slightly. Mm -hmm, just ever so slightly. There we go. Right, I don't know if the comments are a wee bit laggy, but let me know if you think I should put those on the inside. I don't normally make them as bold as that on the inside. Yes, this is set the inside off. Lovely. Brilliant. Thanks, Steph. Thank you, guys. So I'll just offset that in between coffee number one and coffee number two sentiment. And then we'll do the same with this. Pointing that in there. So it looks very methodically organised. Oh, she says. Oh, that way a wee bit. There we go. Right, press and hold. Beautiful. I think I am going to stamp on here, actually. 
just to try it out. Let me do a couple of things. Did I rinse this one off? I'm not sure if I did actually. Sam's saying she, she likes Sam as Rocky son. Sam's my oldest niece. Out of my two nieces, aren't you, darling? And, right, let's do this. Where's my ink? I've put my ink away. So I've done not bad for time. That has been an hour. And that is um, completely and fully preparing all of the parts beforehand. That's nice and discreet. Um, it would be double the time, if not more, if I were to um, prep everything at the time while I'm talking to you. Right, I'm going to add a little heart on each side of those. Each side of that sentiment, not those sentiments. Oh, nice. And that just draws the attention to the fact there is something um, stamped on there, just in case someone misses it. You can read it, but... Um, yeah, isn't that adorable? Right, I'm not going to put anything else in here, I don't think. I think they'll get a good surprise when they open up the actual coffee card. Yes, I don't know, honey, when we're going to be able to meet up for a crafty session, sweetheart. Hopefully it's not too long. I think it's going to be for a good six months anyway, but I quite like being stuck in my house. I really do. I've got my craft room here. I've got my kettle and a team coffee on tap. And um, yeah, I'm just bending these wee bits because I don't need them. And they'll just um, clutter up my space. This is a little tree I've been using. It's actually a, an Ikea Kuggis box lid. So um, I've got some mail that's going out tomorrow in the box. So I thought I would use that to keep um, all my card parts together. Right, so just quickly. I've, these are from the the other stamp set that showed you the Nothing's Better Than Bundle. Um, these are die cuts that you can get out the set that say Love You. These would complement this quite nice. Love You. Then you've got more than. And then you could have a coffee die. I can't pick it up. The coffee die cut in a different colour. But you can see how it does complement each other. These are these are awesome, these sets. So my next project will be to use those coloured and die cut elements from the Nothing's Better Than Bundle. So what I need to do, I'm just very quickly um, going to pop these back in their little folder. You can see I have some other die cuts, etc. The little chocolates are adorable as well. These stamp really nice. And it makes it look like you've got perfect colouring skills. Right, let's say recap on these cards then. Five in colours with some uh, similar colour schemes to colour in the images. Um, same colour family, just a lighter shade. So, I think these have turned out gorgeous, nice and bold. Samantha's saying she likes being indoors as well. Me too. Nothing like home comforts, honey, eh? Home comforts. So, the first card I made, the prototype, was the Cinnamon Cider. With Hope Your Day's Full of Perks. Um, I actually had to stamp this twice because I didn't push it down enough. In fact, I think there was dimensions under my card base. Um, that's gorgeous in those colours. With a little coloured um, coffee cup on the front. And then we made the Magenta Madness one. 
very striking colour against the white. I just love it. Really nice fonts in this um, set. Then we made one with the lovely decorated envelope. This is a horizontal card. That's gorgeous as well. Now, I'm not blowing my own trumpet here. It's this, the products that make this crafting journey so much more easy, easier. I think you'll agree. Oh, thank you, everyone. They're so kind. This is a Just Jade one using soft sea foam for the in colouring. And then we had the bumblebee. And that is it. Um, there's seven folks watching. Thank you so much. I know it's late at night. Um, I'm going to tidy up my craft space now. There's not that much mess because it's all collected in here in my little recycled tin. Um, so watch this space for when I get around to decorating this. <laughs> um, I do like to upcycle where I can. Okay, folks, uh, I need to move this from my phone holder, camera holder just now. Hang on. Because the little um, button to stop the live, um, it actually goes under the holder so you can't actually see it or press it. Um, okay, have a lovely evening. Thank you for sitting with me for an hour. I hope you've liked these projects. Feel free to um, use them as inspiration if you have these sets. Um, if you're looking to purchase these, you can visit my shop at www.smithscraftycreations.stampinup.net um, I will link my shop and my website blog links um, in the description box um, once this uploads. Uh, thanks again. Have a lovely um, evening. Hi, Mary. Um, hope you can watch on replay, hun, once it, once it uploads. Just a... Um, uh, bunch of coffee themed cards celebrating International Coffee Day today. Um, I've had six or seven already. Um, <laughs> you, uh, I could have more than that quite easily. Um, so these are all the different colours. Um, so yeah, feel free to watch on Catch Up. Thanks for popping in. Uh, maybe catch you on the next one. Uh, thank you so much and I'll uh, speak to all you lovely soon. I'll see you next time. Bye now. <laughs>